In this clip I'll be showing how to wire a wing for an exposed wing mount anytime the bird is flying or a uh, printing post where the wind, wing is extended. This is how I'll wire the wing. I'll insert a sharpened end into the wrist area of the bird. There's a little pocket there it'll fit in and lock, lock in. Once I hit that it locks in solidly Then I'll bend the wire along the contour of the bones like so. And I'll allow enough wire to go through the body and anchor it, and I'll clip off any excess. And I'll just double the end back there, which allows me to wrap it tightly with string. The string that I'm using is a nylon. I prefer a nylon or a Dacron. That way the moisture of the skin will not cause the string to swell. Wrap all the way down, up and over the wrist area. That will secure the wire tightly to the bones. After I've wrapped in completely, I'll use a couple slip knots and tie the string off. And I'll clip the string. Just before I close the breast incision on the bird, after I've already uh, wired the, the wings and the legs, um, I'll pump caulk up into this wing area. Just a um, latex caulk works well for that. That will fill some of this muscle void here, and as it dries, it'll also strengthen this connection of the wire to the bone. Um, but more importantly, it'll probably um, aid me in gluing these secondary quills here back to the ulna. If you remember when we skinned the bird out how tight the secondary quills adhere to the ulna. They need to go back in position to get a good shape wing. So my caulk will enable that to happen. Then also I'll work some forward in the leading edge of the wing which will help the flight web and um, aid in the natural position of the wing.